this is Amanda Wilson of Amanda Wilson Tarot. It is Monday, June the 6th, 2022. Um, I just took a little bit of a break. For those of you that don't know, my mom died a month ago today. Um, so I needed some time to like, whatever. I needed, <laughs> but I'm back now. So I would like to thank those people who have subscribed um, since I've been gone. Um, if you're new here, welcome, welcome, glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I do really thank you for your continued support. If you have not done so already, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Um, it does really help my channel, it helps the algorithm, so I get suggested more often. So if you like my video, please do. Thanks very much. How are you doing today, Scorpio? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining right inside of you. This is a general reading. will not resonate with every Scorpio out there. Take what does and eat the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Cut in the deck for Scorpio. Spirit. Two of Pentacles, you're being wishy-washy, you might be juggling two people. You need to make a decision. First card out. The Temperance, Sagittarius energy, the Temperance, this talks about divine timing, having patience, trusting that Source Spirit Universe will give you what you need at its proper time. She's spilling liquid from, or pouring liquid from one cup into another cup, she's got long black hair. A red flower in her hair she got this gorgeous dress black red and green which shouldn't work but really does and it looks like she is wearing uh, an invisibility cloak a la Harry Potter divine timing being patient trusting that for spirit universe will give you what you need at its proper time what is crossing this the knight of swords swords are air energy gemini libra aquarius swords are all about honest clear communication you need to bring the knight of swords honest clear communication or you will use a sword and cut you right out of his life but knights are less mature than kings or queens the knight of swords wants to talk about talk to you but he can come off as blunt brash abrasive and he can rush in and out of your life. This is not a consistent energy. This is not a consistent person. Always play with kings and queens. And knights are immature. Consciously known. The queen of pentacles. Pentacles are earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Pentacles are coins, money. She's the queen of money. She is independent, self-sufficient, grounded, balanced, stable business person makes her own money takes care of her money uh coin our money's green we've got green vines green leaves she's got a green sombrero green printed outfit the queen of money ground about stable business person unconscious the ace of pentacles new money pentacles are earth energy taurus virgo capricorn pentacles are coins money money's green this whole card is green Got a green skull, looks like um, moss on it. Also got this grasshopper, new money, a new job, a raise, a promotion, a sunny money from a side project. Um, maybe you sold something, new money. Queen of money and new money. All about the money, Scorpio. Recent past, wheel of fortune, wheel spinning in an upward direction for you. Just talk about success. Well, you got the queen of money and new money, so of course you're successful. There is the wheel, we've got hourglass, we've got a reaper dressed in white with black hair, reaper dressed in black with white hair. Here are their sides. Wheel spinning in an upward direction for you. Success, success, success. Near future. <gasps> Self-love, self-worth, self-esteem. Nine cups. Emotional independence. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I am single because I know I deserve someone just as fantastic as I am, and I'm willing to wait for that person. Self-love, self-worth, self-esteem, emotional independence, loving yourself first. This is the kind of energy you need to be in to get to that 10 cups of true love. Self-love, self-worth, self-esteem. Where, where do you find yourself? 
Eight of Pentacles. Money, money. Pentacles are Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Got a green vine. She's got a green face. She's got a uh, crown of black and white roses. Pentacles are coins, money. She's got a big purse. This is going to work. Making your money, money, money. External influences. The victory card. Six of wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Are you famous? Um, it is like you are in a parade. People are on the sidewalks. They're clapping. They're cheering. Um, you might have some kind of social media presence. TikToker, Instagrammer, whatever they are. YouTube. Uh, people are watching you and admiring you. The victory card. Social media presence. Hopes and or fears. Ooh, ooh, drama. Five of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is fighting, arguing, drama, gaslighting perhaps. Wands are fire energy, so we've got a, so the color is red. Red sombrero, red shirt. Um, this comes up as a fear. So you don't want any drama in your life. You don't want any drama in, and who can blame you? I don't want drama in my life either. Overall outcome. The three of pentacles. Pentacles are earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We got three pentacles down here. This person is watering them. Got some green in this card because money's green. This is working on a solid foundation with someone. This could be a you and your person or this could be a work situation. Working on a solid foundation, building a solid foundation. Two of pentacles, wishy-washy. Pentacles are earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, green. This is being wishy-washy. A decision needs to be made. And you are waffling. You don't know what decision you should make. Hmm. The tower. The tower. Um, whoever this this uh, knight of swords. I think that you had a tower. But I feel like you're rebuilding. And you've got more faith in yourself. And now you have self-love, self-worth, self-esteem. Um, maybe you're wishy-washy about cutting this person out, but all they brought you was drama. So, cut them out. This was a hard cycle, though. It hurt you. There was a tower. But, now you can rebuild. Now you can rebuild. Working on a solid foundation. Santa Morta, death and rebirth. This is your card, Scorpio. This talks about the end of a painful cycle, beginning of a new cycle. Santa Morta, the saint of death. She's got a halo around her head. She's wearing a red dress, outfit. You can see she's pregnant. She's got a green cape on. She's got her side. There's the crib. This is death and rebirth. You could also see like rays of sun behind her. Death and rebirth, end of a painful cycle, moving on to a new cycle. Goes with the tower here. Oh, because you got, this person broke your heart. This person broke your heart. Three of swords. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone broke your heart. Caused a tower. And now you have to rebuild. But you have self-love, self-worth, self-esteem. And you will be just great. And we've got a page of the page of wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Wands are all about passion. Pages are messengers. This is a passionate message. Wands are red in this deck. We've got some red um, leaves. Red leaves. Red flowers down here. Uh, red ribbon on his hat, a red coat, he's got his wand, he's on a swing, a passionate message. 
Divine timing. Queen of money. Looks like you're concentrating on your money. Queen of money, new money, success, self-love, self-worth, self-esteem, going to work, making your money. People are watching you and admiring you, watching you in a positive way, working on building a solid foundation. Death and rebirth. Passionate message. I think you were playing with the night. This night was dramatic. Uh, drama, drama, drama all the time. And I don't know why, but you were wishy-washy. Like, you didn't know whether you should move on or not. You need to move on. This person hurt you. I'm not saying they didn't. They hurt you. They caused you to have a tower. Ah, they broke your heart. But this cycle is over and you need to move on to a new beginning. Because you've got here working on a solid foundation with someone. Oracle cards. A leg up. Let your friends help you. You know what? When you're recovering from something like this, you need to... You need to, like, hang out with your friends, go out with your friends. Um, we've got this little polar bear getting on his mother's back. Um, let your friends help you. I think this is such a cute card. A leg up. Happy, happy. Moving on to a new beginning. Could see her she's dressed in pretty blue she's got uh, balloons standing on top of an egg and happy happy work on being happy so love self-worth self-esteem and bottom peace 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 and well-being um, I think this is a dove talking about peace I like it. I like it. Peaceful. After this crazy tower and broken heart, you need some peace. Hang out with your friends. Recover. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yeah. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Self-love, self-worth, self-esteem. Rebuilding after the tower. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Mm -hmm. And majors. Oh, my stomach is... I think I cracked my rib on the left side. <laughs> been so sore for a couple of weeks now so I think it's cracked the star you are the star the angel card the wish card what are you wishing for clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now new things are coming in the angel card the wish card and the empress the star oh I have forgotten I've seen I've this is the third time I've seen the star and I have not said Aquarius energy Aquarius energy the angel card the wish card and the Empress, Libra and Taurus energy. She's independent, self-sufficient, divine, feminine, maternal, goddess energy. Um, she is um, she's strong. She's independent. She is pregnant, always birthing new ideas. Uh, could be children, uh, ways to make money, hobbies. If you're pregnant, congratulations. Otherwise, something new is coming up for you. Independent, self-sufficient, divine, feminine, maternal, goddess energy. Divine timing, queen of money, new money, the wheel of fortune, wheel spinning in an upward direction for you. Self-love, self-worth, self-esteem, this is your future. Going to work, making your money, people are looking at you, admiring you, working on a solid foundation, death and rebirth, end of a very painful cycle, but moving on. And a passionate message. 
Knight of Swords. You may have been playing with the knight. Drama, drama. Feel like you were being a little wishy-washy, but this person broke your heart, caused you to have a tower. But you can rebuild. A leg up. Let your friends help you. Happy, happy. Peace. I'm never happy, happy. That's why I say it like that. Retreat. Engagement. Calling in your soulmate. You are the star. The angel card. The wish card. And the empress. Maternal energy. So yeah, I, I, would, I say um, leave the past behind. Money, money. Success. Self-love, self-worth, self-esteem. You may have people watching you, but in a positive way. I don't know why I said but there. You have people watching you in a positive way. Let's say that. Working on a solid foundation. Passionate message. All right, Scorpio. Have a great rest of your day. I will speak to you soon. Um, it won't be um, <laughs> it won't be a month until you see me again. It will be a lot sooner. Have a great evening. Take care. This is Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. Bye for now.